Almost ready to go out, but I have one final piece de resistance, a vintage find I have to show you. I'm gonna do a little Gucci track jacket moment. Let's look at the back. <clears throat> Las Vegas, Nevada! So for tonight's look, before everything gets started, I wanted to wear something that was like wild Vegas cowgirl and so I'm wearing pieces from check the tag vintage that she loaned me These are all actually purchasable with this amazing blouse silk blouse with puff sleeves It's such a gorgeous piece and then you guys it's all about this belt for me I'm kind of obsessed. I might need to keep it for myself these green 70s pants. I found this Las Vegas, Nevada track jacket, and I knew I had to take it to Vegas with me, and I had to put on some cowboy boots to just have my cowgirl moment. day of traveling and getting settled here in Vegas and I'm excited because all the fun is kicking in tomorrow. Good night and I'll see you tomorrow. Las Vegas, Nevada. I can't believe it. I'm here in Vegas. I've actually never been here before. And let me tell you a little bit about why I'm here. I'm here at the Venetian Hotel in Las Vegas to come to the JCK show and Luxury by JCK, which is the largest 
jewelry trade show in North America. This is where all of the jewelry retailers get to come meet in person, see what's happening for jewelry for this fall, but also going into 2022. And I actually get to be here and see what they're doing. It's one big, massive jewelry trade show that takes over the Sands Venetian Hotel covering three different levels. There's 20 curated neighborhoods featuring 1,200 different brands. <laughs> I get to go see all of this. And what's so much fun too is that JCK actually provides so many fun events during this entire week. They have an opportunity for networking, there's education, there's different talks happening all of the time. So this is just such a great opportunity to meet and chat with and get to know more of what's happening in jewelry. And I can't even believe it. I am so absolutely honored to be invited by JCK to be here and actually be on one of the panels during this weekend. I get to be on a trends panel. So I'm gonna be sitting on stage with some incredible trend tastemakers, the experts who are talking trends, forecasting, letting us know. And we're going to be talking about what's coming up for fall, and then also into 2022. I'm sure I'll let everybody in a little bit on our vintage and love for always playing dress up and frosting yourself and all of the different things. And I'm just excited to just see what's happening here, seeing the trends, getting an idea of what I'm gonna be wearing, what you're gonna be wearing, and what's coming in 2022. And since I was invited to come here to speak about the trends, I decided that I had to film a video while I'm here in Las Vegas to bring you guys along on this whole experience. We are officially in September, which is the month of fall. And for us, that means all the fall trends. So I'm going to let you all in on the entire experience, what it's like to be here at the JCK show, what it's like to be at the Venetian, what it's like to be in Las Vegas, and of course, what it's like to always play dress up while you're here. But also, we are kicking off fall trends. So I'm gonna focus this entire month on all the trends, the fashion trends, jewelry trends, hair trends, makeup trends, all of it get us so excited and ready for fall. And so I thought this was the perfect opportunity to introduce you to what's happening in the jewelry marketplace. So we're gonna get to take an entire tour of what's happening here at the JCK show. We're gonna see the trends, we're gonna see the jewels, we're gonna see the layering of pieces. So this is basically an opportunity for us to just do some trend hunting when it comes to jewelry and who doesn't love jewelry. I just feel like it's it's the icing on the cake. It's the cherry on top. It's the thing that finishes the outfit off. You know I love my big earrings, my brooches, my necklaces, my gaudy gold rings. Just I love jewelry and I feel like it's just such a great way to personalize your outfit and take it over the edge and we're just gonna go and see what this is all about. We're gonna get to see what's happening, what's trending, and you guys get to come along for the whole ride. And I just can't get over this view here in Las Vegas. It's so much fun to look outside and see all the lights at nighttime, but also in the morning, it's amazing. And you know I had to bring Maddie with me. <laughs> I'm so excited. We're in Vegas. Vegas. <laughs> We're doing Vegas lights. I am definitely being very inspired by what JCK is all about, which is just like frosting and jewelry and all of the goodness that I love to do and over the top. Gaudy so gaudy gold, all of it. So I decided to channel some 70s kind of Bianca Jagger. Mm -hmm. Jet setter. Jet setter. Gucci. Of course. Gucci. Obviously. Yes, Gucci. Gucci. Obviously. Even some Harry Styles magic. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, so yeah. when JCK invited me, I was like, this is my opportunity to come to Vegas and just like go all out. Yeah dress really? up. Really? Yeah. Play dress up. Yes. And you know what also is fun? It's 110 degrees outside, but guess what? It's There's so air conditioning cold. inside. <laughs> it's so cool. So we get to wear like fall fashion <laughs> yeah, seriously. inside. We're basically starting to embrace the fall trends while inside the air conditioned Venetian yeah. hotel. But um, I feel like we need to do a little outfit breakdown of both <laughs> Maddie and I. So today we're gonna head down to the JCK show and I wanted to embrace some kind of suiting, but of course 70s fabulousness. So I am wearing this incredible 70s plaid, mad for plaid suit, which this is from an amazing vintage 
vendor who's at Pickwick and also lives near me. It's Check the Tag Vintage and you guys, you can maybe buy this. I don't want to tell you that because I might want to buy it for myself, but this is going back to her and she was amazing and lent it to me. So I love this suit. And then I put on just a fun little uh, polka dot bow tie blouse to go with it. I decided to embrace all of the red. And then I wanted to have some quirky, maybe even a little reference to the 80s with some white socks from Swedish stockings. And then I did my Tamara Melon black and white loafer shoes. There's definitely a lot of walking involved here. <laughs> so I needed shoes that were gonna be, you know, appropriate to walk around all day. And also I had to frost myself. We're here at a jewelry trade show, so I had to do that. I have this amazing vintage brooch on. This is also from Check of the Tag Vintage. And then my Starburst earrings. And I had to do some big 70s hair. So I'm ready. I'm ready for the jewelry show. Okay, Maddie, I know you don't want to, but come on, look how fabulous she looks oh, today, you. too. You. you know what? You gotta wear the cowboy boots. Oh, 100%. I feel like the Vegas little... is the perfect cowboy moment. Oh, 100%. Like glam cowboy. Yeah, glam yeah. cowboy. <laughs> so today is Friday, and just our plans for today are we get to go down to the JCK show and see what's happening. We're probably going to check out some of these amazing brands that are here, all the different companies represented, do a little bit of a run around check in, see what's happening. And then we are going to have a really fun dinner tonight that I'm excited about. I get to hang out with some of the speakers that are here for the event. And then tomorrow we have a lot more fun happening as well. And that's when the panel is. So today is going to be really about getting to see what is happening at the show. And you guys are going to get to come along with me for the entire time. So I think we're pretty much almost ready to go. I'm just going to grab a few things and head down. Beautiful, all natural stones. You have wow. emeralds, rubies, natural yellow diamonds. I mean, just all different kinds of gorgeous sapphires. Beautiful, beautiful, very wow. high quality moonstone. Faceted. Normally, you don't see that in moonstones. No. Wow. And all made by hand. Oh my goodness. Everything made by hand, all handcrafted. This Let is me see what several that's. hundred. You don't have to clasp it. I just want to see. Several hundred hours of wow. labor, all handcrafted. I love how yeah, yeah, it's so signature and so specialized. So for me, like when I when I'm talking to ladies about things like this, what yeah. I always like to remind them. So when you have different shapes, you have different types of facets. Different facets are going to add different types of sparkles, so you add interest to yes. the piece of jewelry. Yep. You know? Here you have your classic rose cuts, right. so they have a very different type of sparkle than regular diamonds. Right. These are regular white diamonds that we're all used to seeing, right. but then you have something like this that's so romantic. Right. They're, they're a little bit more glassy looking, mm -hmm. so the facets are larger, they're a little bit flatter, but they're super, the sparkle is just just absolutely oh amazing. I love it. You showed us the right piece. Yay! <laughs> I knew you would like this.
an unheated uh, certified yellow sapphire, and then there's pink and blue sapphires in little heart shapes. The black is ceramic. What I love is it's set in rose gold, and it's a magnetic clasp. Oh, wow. So I can put it on myself. So yeah, it's also a magnetic class. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my gosh, Isn't I that love fast? that. Beautiful, wow. Feel the weight and the way it's made. It's really, really oh nice. Oh my gosh. The nice thing about the rings is that we don't always say the same size, so they're great for life. Uh, the rings expand up to two wow. sizes. thinking I need to, you know, upgrade a little bit. <laughs> entire day at the JCK show just checking out all of the different jewelry companies we were in luxury by JCK we were also just on the regular show floor it's honestly like this amazing huge massive candy store of jewelry so I think a big thing that I saw a lot today were a lot of the trends that are coming out for fall and for even in 2022 for jewelry we saw a lot of pearl, pearl jewelry, pearl pendants, strands made of pearls, big chunky pearls. I think it's really fun and exciting to see the mix of pearls that's coming out for fall. I think sometimes we think of pearls just for summer, but it's, it's staying with us through the next season, and I think that's really fun and exciting and inspiring to see. Also, a lot of fringe. A lot of the jewelry, if it was with diamonds or even with gems or coral, there was a lot of fringe detailing with earrings on necklaces. It was really incredible to see how all of the different jewelry designers utilize the trend of fringe and put it into different parts of their jewelry, either really subtle or more statement. Something that I'm really loving is the trend of personalization with jewelry. I love wearing my plaza letter necklaces from Lulu Frost, my S and my T or my B, but we're seeing that a ton in luxury all the way down to just more affordable, budget-friendly jewelry. This idea of either, you know, zodiac signs, wearing your zodiac signs, or wearing letters or initials. Also seeing cuffs with personalization by putting your coordinates of something special in your life so you could do something really significant the place you got married the first place you kissed your significant other or it could just be something simple as one of the favorite places that you traveled or where you're originally from so I loved seeing that also a lot of charm detail so you know personalized chains with then lots of charms and again taking the idea of personalizing them, putting terms that mean something to you. I had so much fun meeting with the designer from Just Desi. She's amazing and she's developed this gorgeous, incredible luxury line that she has pieces that you can take locket pendants and then you can personalize and put little you know letters your zodiac sign or symbols that feel personal to you inside the locket. I absolutely loved her collection. Even just some on the JCK floor, seeing how they're working with corals. I saw a whole booth very inspired by the idea of Iris Apfel, seeing all those huge chunky corals and baubles, and even some of what Libertine is doing. I saw that on the floor at JCK. And uh, you know, tons of big, huge statement jewelry. Statement is big for fall. If that's a huge, chunky necklace with gaudy gold, or big huge pearls. I also am seeing this idea of personalizing your jewelry by wearing, you know, one large earring alone or a small one with it. So I love to see that you can really play with these pieces. And I think what was really interesting too is just kind of seeing the varying degrees of all the different types of jewelry and all the different price points and really just meeting all of these jewelry companies and the, the families or the businesses that have been around forever 
meeting them and talking to them, getting to know some of the history behind the jewelry or the family and how long they've owned it. So, I mean, one of the drawers I met with, it was fifth generation. And I just think that's so cool to hear what goes on behind the scenes with these incredible jewelers. And it really was such an amazing experience. I love jewelry, but to really dive into this world in a way that I never have before was so inspiring and so exciting. And honestly, it was just like candy. I just wanted to put it and frost it all over my body. But we are done for the day. I think we are going to just take a little breather and then we're off to a dinner tonight. But I think we're gonna just relax. Do you wanna relax, Maddie? Let's just relax a little Let's bit. Just relax a little bit. <laughs> Sounds good. Another night in Vegas. I love the golden light on all the buildings. I'm all glammed up and I'm wearing my absolute favorite vintage dress that I own in my whole closet, this 1970s butterfly dress the puff sleeves and I feel like I had to wear this while I was in Vegas so it's making its return <laughs> to uh, Vegas and we're off for a dinner so I'm excited to go celebrate and have a great time with some of the other speakers and people who work and host JCK so we're off to a fabulous dinner here at the Venetian. Somehow Maddie and I <laughs> always end up being a duo. I know we're both like a all over print but what 90s? I'm 90s like Carrie Bradshaw yes. for sure. And then I'm a little you know 70s but no planning here it just no. happens. Fun just happens like, like this. We love it. Oh and we both have like really fun. I know pants. what? That's crazy. I love it. I From love the it. bottom mm -hmm. to, to the, the top. top. back in the room back looking at the Vegas lights and let me just say I'm a little tired uh, I've been walking around the show all day but I have a one more day of magic here at JCK but tomorrow is the panel that I'm on where I get to chat with other amazing trend forecasters and stylists and we get to talk about all the trends so I'm really excited to do that and it was so much fun tonight to meet everyone at the dinner and just get to know everybody a little bit more and their backstory and what they do it's just always so inspiring to meet other women doing really incredible cool inspiring creative things that's all I'm gonna say for now because I'm ready for bed. So I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Bye. Good morning. It's the next day. What day is it today? <laughs> I'm in Vegas. I feel like I don't know. It's Saturday and this is my last day here in Las Vegas at the JCK show. I'm so excited today. is really mainly um, going to be focusing on a panel that I get to speak on, which is trends panel. So I think we're gonna go, there's one more floor. This show is so large. They told me it was large, and then you get here and you realize how big it is, how many jewelry companies are here. It's incredible. And so there's an entire section that I still wasn't able to visit yesterday. So I think Maddie and I are going to head into that part of the show and just check out a few more of the jewelry designers, see a few more of the trends that are big for fall. It is really fun because I have spent time, you know, of course, I love to research the trends and see what's happening, but to actually come to a show like this and see 
it all in real life and really see that these trends are being translated all across the board with so many different designers. It's really incredible to see. So we're going to go and check that out. And then my panel is this afternoon. So I'm going to film it for Instagram live, which at this point you'll have already seen it. But if you haven't, I think I will save it into my IGTV so you can go back and watch it if you want. And then I might even bring you guys onto the stage with me for a second at the show. But I'm excited. It's going to be a fun day. I'm going to go get dressed. I might even be wearing a boa today. So time to get ready. about like the new fall trends and why you should be coming to JCK events and Maddie was my little ear on the side going this trend <laughs> and just like the reason why you should come to JCK and yeah. the reason why Beth finds it so fun it was fun too because I feel like I learned so much yesterday that I felt prepared for today oh 100% <laughs> yeah. yeah it's funny like researching the trends is so much different than like actually experiencing them in yeah. real life so I know it's so fun. much fun so now we're going into the last section, which I'm actually so excited about because this is like the fashion jewelry, the kind of more of that mid-range, the pieces you buy for yourself. Yes. yes. So, so let's do it! <laughs> stopping into uh, D Berkeley jewelry and I love it they're all about color here which is so much fun and all of this fun layering jewelry we're seeing all of these colorful beads and what's of course my favorite is to lots of stacks so even these pearl in color is really big I think what's also really interesting is some of the florals that we're seeing even for fall it's really fun to see florals from spring working their way into fall and then of course you can wear them next season and you have to check these out too i love these are so fun and candy colored what a fun little pop with your outfit so cute the brand is called lula which stands for love one love all Oh. And the reason that they're so popular is because not only do we have so many beautiful and inspirational designs, okay. they all have messages that are on the back. Oh, that's amazing. So they're personalized in a way. And do you decide what your message is going to be or it's what it's already there? So we decide before when we're okay. designing the pendant okay. what the message is going to be. We're based at Lake Tahoe. So this is Mishu, and all of their pieces are one of a kind. Not everything. Okay, not one, everything, but a lot of them. We have a category that is one of a kind. Okay, and they're beautiful, and these are all... Real stones. Real stones. Our brand new um, boho collection and it really was inspired by a more casual 
happy time. And coming out of the pandemic, we always focused on color, but even more so uh, now, because we're finding that color really makes people happy, especially after the year that we lived through. And uh, boho is done in two colorways. We've always found that women love blue with always green. And then red, I'm a, I'm a person who always loves red. It's lively, it inspires conversation. So these are our two color ways. What's new for us this year is that we now are offering rings, a beautiful signet ring. And we offer this in both gold and silver. And we've added a brand new post as well. This is we call our love knot post. And this is now offered throughout our collection. And it's very statement, which yes, I love. Yes, yes, I love it. So you don't want to be, you know, boring, right? right? right. You yeah. want to wear jewelry, just, right. just do it. Oh my gosh, yes. that's gorgeous. I think I love chokers. Oh, you do too. And it's really hard to find no, yes, and this it fits very well, and I have the bracelet to match with it. Okay, we've got Jen, we've got Christina, we've got Jessica, we're about to go on. All right, we're gonna get up on this stage and do our little trend talk. I'm excited. Maddie is over there getting ready to film. Here we go. Not to stop. You ready, Jen? I also am very story driven, and so I think what's really amazing to see is when you take all those trends that came off the runway and then the editorials that are being created by the editors in the magazines, and it's you know, what was happening across the board, and then let's tell a story through that. So it's, of course, like plaid for fall. But how are we going to interpret that this season? Are we mixing the plaids? You know, where are those plaids going to be? You know, what's the setting in the editorial? And I think it, and that can be so powerful is the story that goes along with the trend. How do you feel, Jen? Relieved, inspired, so excited. Also, can we just talk about how fabulous Jen looks? So amazing. I mean, our little, we didn't talk about rose gold, but. Yes, rose, rose gold. gold. Yes. Love it. Really quick, I just got off the panel with these amazing ladies. We've got Christina and Jessica, who are tastemakers experts in this fashion industry. I want you guys to meet them, find out a little bit more about them really quick. So Christina, tell everybody who you are, what you do, a little bit about yourself. Um, I, my name is Christina Pacelli. I am a celebrity stylist. I work with various actors and musicians in Hollywood to dress them for red carpets, press tours, music videos, editorial shoots, you name it. I think what's really interesting that I just found out on the panel is you've only done this for seven years in this success level that oh you're God. having. It's amazing. That's very sweet of you. I mean, I, uh, I feel like, you know, normally it takes so yeah. long, but you've really built up such an incredible business. Thank you. And and it's it's fun to be to meet vets like you. And I kind of feel like I'm oh, you're, I feel like you're a part of me. <laughs> but like, you know, like like you've been in it yeah. as long as it's been, right? Yeah. And it's just so it's so fascinating to hear like your perspective on things when Social media like was just now coming up yeah. and utilized, and now it's just our entire universe. Yeah, you know? so very, very insightful. She's amazing. You need to follow her on Instagram. <laughs> and then Jessica, tell a little bit of everybody who sure. you are. Sure. I'm Jessica Richards. I am a trend forecaster. I'm also a fashion director for the Accessories Council and Accessories Magazine. I work in mostly accessories categories, so footwear, handbags, jewelry, anything that's not ready to wear. I'll cover it. <laughs> and I feel like she truly is such an expert. It's so interesting. I feel like I live in my own one little world, but I feel like you're in this whole other world that I could learn so much from you, you. when it comes to product development and trends and just staying on the pulse of what's happening. So amazing. Before we sign off, I just want everyone to know maybe like a trend you're super excited about for fall and just even how you would interpret that or suggest um, so we talked about nostalgia during yes. the uh, panel, and that's dominating yeah. um, the trends right now. 1970s, it's like yeah. every, every single collection, yeah. like major one, yeah. has some form of 
of 1970s, not 60s yeah. and not 80s. Yeah. Very specific. Right. Yeah. And it could be later 70s too. I mean, these are big specific eras that aren't yeah. just necessarily like, they're little microcosms within right. the era. And um, like with fringe and rock and then crystal jewelry. Um, Western wear, yeah. cowboy boots, cowboy hats, cowboy boots. Mm -hmm. cowboy boots. Western belts yes. and such, so that's, I, and I love it, like, I've done three 1970s um, shoots in the last so six weeks, so yeah. amazing. everybody's hot on them. I'm loving that. Um, and then Jessica, what about you, fall trend that you're excited about? So I'm really feeling, you know, we talked about the nostalgia trend a little bit, and I think that there's just this general feeling of want to, wanting to have optimism and wanting to have this sense of youthfulness. And I also think that there's a feeling of wanting to feel protected and safe. So my favorite trend is the idea of jewelry that is a personal meaning. So maybe it's a special color or initial or a zodiac symbol, anything that has significance to you and gives you that sense of safety, not only for yourself, but maybe also as a gift idea yeah. as well. And I think giving that, that gift of safety and protection is more important than ever. Yeah, I love that. And we saw so much of that here in the show, which is so fun to see how it's all going to be translated through jewelry and then fashion, celebrity, trends, all of it. So I just want to thank these incredible women for being part of the panel today. It was so much fun. That was so much fun. Yeah. So much fun. So happy to be here. I know, me too. And you can follow them all on Instagram. I'll link everything down below. They're also tagged here on the screen. So make sure to check out all these amazing women. Did you survive? We survived. We survived. Woo! <laughs> Three days in Las Vegas. Three days in Las Vegas. <laughs> Heading back to the room. We're done. We are done here at JCK. It was so much fun, but I'm ready to kind of like take my boots off. You know what I'm saying? Kicking up my boots because we are done here at JCK. And this was absolutely so much fun. A completely new experience for me to come to JCK to this insanely large jewelry trade show and see all of the amazing jewelry here. Also, I just feel like I got to meet so many incredible people being part of the panel today with Jessica and Jen and Christina was amazing. And of course, having Maddie here was always fun, right Maddie? I loved it, it was so much. We definitely did Vegas in a different way, but yes. the best way possible for sure. To be honest, this is my idea of a good time in Vegas. Oh yeah. Is Going somewhere in a casino that's going to inspire some really fun outfits, getting to dress up to the max, and just like flit and float around in really fun outfits. That's really the way I like to do Vegas. So this was so much fun. I just want to say thank you to JCK for bringing me along, for having me be part of JCK, and just getting to be a part of this panel. So they're incredible, and if you are in the jewelry business, they're a great trade show to check out. And also, I just want to say thanks for following along on all the fun. Thank you, Maddie, for joining me. Thanks for taking me with you. Doing all this craziness <laughs> with me. And finally, I just want to say... Wait, 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 wait. Let me say it with you. Oh, yes. <sighs> Always, Always play dress up. up.